why a natural birth? I I also I tell women that natural birth is not just a romantic notion. No. There is a reason why your goal should aim towards the natural birth. First of all, every single thing that happens in birth from the start of labor, which is initiated by the baby, not the mother, when it is ready, and the actual process of labor and how long the contractions are and how long the interval is between contractions for you to rest because it's like a, a wave that you can learn to surf. It is not this constant intensity that people feel is just unbearable. It's It really is a wave. It's a symphony. You are meant to rise and fall and relax and go into a rest. And so is the baby because the baby's brain needs that. It needs the stimulation of the contractions because the contractions actually are like a massage to its nervous system up and down the spine, readying it for this huge learning spurt, which is as it comes out of the birth canal and looks at the world for the first time and gazes into the mother's face, the father's face, wow! And then it has all of this reorganizing of its body to do from being an aquatic being that's tethered to the mothership, the womb, to being an air breathing being that has to sustain its own temperature, find its food, and so on. There's everything that happens in birth happens for a reason because the biological process, or if you call it the God given process, they're the same, is refined and it's refined for perfection. Even the fact that the baby faces downward toward the woman's rectum as it comes out, that is so that the baby's nose and mouth will be exposed to the bacteria from the woman's gut, which is what it needs to have in order to live in her environment and not get sick. So cesarean born babies are more likely to get sick because the uh, bacteria that they are colonized with in this gut that it has had nothing in it that is completely sterile until, until birth is the operating room of the hospital. And that's not the way it's meant to be. So everything that happens in birth happens for a reason. And all of the hormones that the woman's own body creates are like a, pharma, a pharmacy, really, um, designed to soothe her in labor, to calm her when things are too intense, to cause her to fall in love with the baby, to keep the contractions effective. And the natural oxytocin is nothing like the artificial oxytocin that a woman is given to start labor or speed up labor. In fact, the artificial drugs will stop her own hormones and they'll override them because her body and her brain will think, well, I'm already getting this hormone. <clears throat> and what the artificial hormone does is just contract the uterus. It does not cause her to fall in love with her baby. And there is a difference between love and bonding. And all of this is this mystery and magic that is secret that most women don't talk about because they don't experience it. Birth is meant to be a completely natural, normal, healthy process. And the baby is meant to be exceedingly awake, alive, alert, and present, and magically connected to this mother and this father and anyone else who's in the room when it comes out. Of course, we come from a country that believes that everything is about products, not process. So you can buy a good birth wrong. You can, um, you can, doesn't matter how you do it, it's what you get at the other end. But it turns out that the process is everything. 